hello my dear friend you are welcome again to my channel well in this video i will practically show how rcds work and how they will behave in different situations in an electrical wiring one of the important questions that will be answered in this video is will rcd operate in the event of an earth fault in a tt system if the consumer installation has no earth all right, so let's go into that and let's see what would happen. As you can see here, this is an RCBO. RCBO simply means residual current device with overload protection. So in simple terms, it's just like a combination of RCD and MCB. The RCD has both live and neutral terminals at the input and then live and neutral terminals at the output. So this means that both live and neutral supply will be connected to the RCD and then both live and neutral will be connected from the output of the RCD to the load in the circuit that it is meant to protect. Now, if you look here, you see that this is the load I want to connect in this circuit. And part of this load is made of metal. And so for proper installation, the metal part of this load must be properly connected to earth to enable this device to operate when an earth fault occurs in this circuit. And so this, when properly connected, will now be protecting this load from any excessive current. And then it will also protect every user of this load from any electric shock. And so in this video, I am going to demonstrate the various conditions under which the RCD will operate. There are some of the conditions that will not require an earth connection. But in the case of an earth fault, if the earth connection is not properly done, the RCD will be in the circuit, but any user that makes contact with the metal part of this load will still receive electric shock. So let's see how that happens. All right, so in the first scenario, I will connect the load to the RCD, but I will leave the earth. Live comes here, and then neutral goes in there. Okay, so in this first scenario, I'm going to create a fault in this circuit. As you can see, the earth is not connected at all. It's just left alone. But this particular fault I am going to create will operate the RCD all right. And then I will explain to you why the RCD will operate. So here, if I switch the RCD on, the load will come on. Okay. Now, I'm going to create a fault in this circuit that can operate the RCD when the protective conductor is not actually connected to it. And that is because this device is designed in a way that the live and the neutral cables are all connected to the load. And so what happens is that the RCD always monitors the current that is being taken by the lamp and makes sure that the same amount of current that is flowing through the live conductor to the load will return back through the neutral conductor. And so anytime there is an imbalance between any of these conductors, the RCD will operate. If the current that is flowing from this live terminal is more than what the load requires to work, then this RCD will say that there is a fault in the circuit and so it will trip to open the circuit. A simple example is when I want to connect this load. And in connecting this load, I connect the live conductor at the live output of the RCD like this. And then I connect the return wire directly to the supply here. All right, so now what is happening is that when I switch on this RCBO now, what will happen is that current will be flowing through this live wire to this load and another current will be flowing through this wire to this load, which means that the current that will be flowing through this terminal will be more than what will be returning through this neutral wire. And so the RCD will not stay on. It will trip. Anytime you switch it on, it will trip, telling you that 
there is a leakage in the circuit. So let's see what will happen. It will not stay on. Okay, so let me remove this. So now, this load is working all right. Now what I'm going to do is, this is another load. But in connecting this load to this circuit, I'll connect the neutral wire directly to the supply, and then I'll connect the live wire at the output live terminal of the RCD. And when I do that, the RCD will operate. It will operate because current will be flowing through this live wire to supply this load. And another current from the same terminal will also try to flow through this live wire to supply power to this load. The RCD will see the current that is flowing through this conductor as a leakage in the system, which will definitely create an imbalance between these two lines because the current that will be flowing through this live terminal now will be more than the current that will be returning through the neutral wire because the neutral of this load is not connected through the RCD. So this load is working all right, but the moment I try to add this other load, it will go off. And the RCD will perfectly operate even when the protective conductor is not connected to it. Let's look at it again. So it's working all right. But the moment I want to add this to the same terminal, it will trip. All right, so in such a situation, even if the protective conductor is not connected to it, the RCD can still operate. But now, when it comes to human protection or protecting the users of the wiring, what we actually mean is that, for example, the housing of this lamp is made of metal. This is the protective conductor from the load, and usually the protective conductor must be connected to the metal body of the load. Now, because it is painted, some parts may not conduct, but still there are some parts that can still conduct. You can see that. Okay? And so when we want to protect the users of this circuit, then we have to make sure that as soon as any live part of this wiring makes contact with the body of this load, the RCD should operate. If the RCD does not operate, then it means the whole metal body will be electrified and then when any human being makes contact with any of the exposed parts, that human being will receive a shock. And that is what we want to prevent. Okay, so in the second scenario, I will use another wire that will help me to create my fault. So here, this wire will help me to create an earth fault in the system. And then we see what will happen. When the protective conductor is not connected to earth, and then later I will connect it to it, and then we see how the RCD will then behave. All right, so on. The load is on now. Here, you can see there is live here. So let me remove the gloves. This is live. So an earth fault simply means either a direct connection between a live part of the wiring and a metal part of the wiring or a leakage of current from a live wire in the wiring to a metal part of the loot or a metal part of the wiring. So this is the metal part of our wiring now. And so I'm going to use this live wire to touch this metal part and let's see what will happen. So now there is an earth fault in this wiring now. The whole body of the loot is now electrified. You can see from here. You can see the tester is lighting, okay? If you come here also. Okay, so let me use something to cover the light so that you can see the tester. You can see it properly. Here, it's light. It's only those parts that are painted or sprayed that will not shock, but if you touch a place like here, it will shock you. If you touch these screws here, it will shock you. 
you touch here, if you touch here, it will shock you. So there is an earth fault. The whole body of the load is electrified, but the RCD cannot operate. And that is because the protective conductor is not connected to it. All right, so now I'll connect the protective conductor to it, and then let's again see what will happen. All right, so now protective conductor is properly connected to it. And then I'll switch the load on, and then I will try to create my earth fault again, and you will see that because the earth is now connected properly, the RCD will operate quickly, and that is because it does not want current to be flowing through the metal part of the load. So let's see what will happen. Again. All right. So in conclusion, the reason why RCDs are used mostly in TT system is because the resistance of the earth fourth loop path is not as low as the resistance of the earth fourth loop path in other systems. And not to give an idea that RCDs can protect against electric shock without it. Yes, in certain conditions, the RCD can operate without it. But in the event of an earth fault, which is very important when it comes to protecting against electric shock, the RCD cannot and will not operate without a proper connection to it. So I will end by saying again that in the TT system, Earthing of the consumer installation must be properly done to enhance the effective operation of protective devices, including RCDs. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have learned something new from this video, kindly like, share, and subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.